And uh, that certainly made a difference down the Absolutely. stretch of that ball game. Now, we're tied at 29. A second half action gets underway. Forrest Park will have the basketball. That's Farrell, Rapp, Nesbitt, Tannenbaum, Getty for Park Tudor. Welp, Brom, Wilgus, Williams, and Welp for Forest Park. Well, different look already for Forest Park. A little runner on the baseline. They're trying to get Kyle Wilgus open with some uh, baseline screens in this zone offense on some of the ball reversals. So when he passes, watch for him to cut through. Good take. Oh, Wilgus with the step. Well, oh, with you know, they, they can play any style. They're under control. They're, they're playing very physically defensively. Uh, they are a solid, well put together basketball team. Wilgus handles the ball a bit more to start the second half. I say again, you'll see Wilgus on this baseline. Now watch the interior screens as they try to reverse the ball. It's sending cutters through, trying to get a little bit, a little bit more movement, if you will. A little inside screen for the post guys. They've held it for a minute now to start the second half. Well, they'll set the high-low. That's what they're set up to do. Nice Great look. Pointer, left wing, yes. Boom. That was a good patient offensive set. I'm telling you what. Brom has now hit four three-pointers and has 12. If I get that look after a minute, I'm going to run a minute off every possession. Absolutely. <laughs> and again, Yogi Ferrell quieted a bit. They tried to backdoor there. But again, that great so, wingspan by yeah. Grant Welp benefited him there as he turned his head and knocked it away. And he's done a great job defensively. Welp has done a nice job of bodying up on him. Did they go back-to-back -back threes? No. Rebound controlled by Park Tudor. A little quick on the shot that time by Forrest Park. Yogi Farrell splits the defense. Offensive foul. And being 5'11 and a sophomore, clearly a D1 recruit, but at 5'11 and a sophomore, in a situation like this, he, he may make mistakes like that, trying to, to force the issue and get himself back into rhythm, the kind of rhythm he had the first quarter. Good Absolutely. strong move blocked away. Ball loose, knocked out of bounds. Deep lob. In the first series, they took a minute off the clock and found Brom for an open three. Flash at the post this time. Have to kick it away. Ball knocked loose. Welp comes down with it. Kicks it out to Brom. He thought about the three, and they'll redirect. Well, great patience. Great patience. Great skip, skip pass. He was open. Drove. Splits the defense. Ball partially blocked. Comes Jeez. down on the floor, and Farrell with a basketball. Wow. Yogi. Stop and go dribble. Gets mugged on his way to the bucket. He's fouled on the floor. It Getting mugged, no whistle. May be a bit of a benefit for Farrell because the guy that has essentially held him in check since the first quarter is yeah. now on the bench. I think that's a great point, Mark. Farrell pulls up from the elbow, oh, nice dumps pass. it off down low, and there with the easy deuce is Matt Getty. Well, you're right because Grant Welp had denied Yogi some cuts and, and really did a nice job of his on-the-ball pressure. But now if you're Forest Park, you can take the mindset, well, he can't score if they don't have the basketball. So well, be very exactly. patient offensively. And I think, that's part of, I think that's clearly part of this. I mean, come down and take some time, make them guard us through uh, really deep into a possession. Because they have a tendency to forget about the backside if you can make the diagonal pass. Well, so they, they've done a nice job of skip. They've also done a nice job of rolling somebody in from the opposite side into the post. And you see them you find an open spot. Here's a great play. Oh, Yogi right there. That looked like it was going into the post. I thought he was going to dump it into the post, but Yogi Farrell did a nice job to get a hand up. Quick inbounds, quick three. No, weak side rebound to Park Tudor. Tannenbaum's done a nice job of putting yeah, himself hits. in good defensive position. Farrell to the right elbow. Wants to spin dribble. Doesn't buy him any room, though, and he'll back it out with four and a half to play in the quarter. Yeah, but all five white shirts now for Spark have done a nice job of knowing where Yogi Farrell is. And it's not just the guy on the ball. It's everybody else, Mark, has to be aware of where he is. Well, they've certainly made some adjustments on him, no doubt about that. Oh, he walked and got away with it. Ball yep. partially blocked, saved in bounds, thrown away. Now saved in bounds into the hands of Reggie Nesbitt. Ball still loose on the floor. He's calling for a timeout. They're going to call the jump ball. That's just not how it ought to be. And I'm astounded you can reach the semi-state level and actually be this bad. 32-31, one-point lead for Forest Park under four to play. Farrell has it, baseline left. No room for him. Pretty well held him in check. They do a nice job of fighting through screens, and we've got a foul going the other way. Hasn't been called all day. Now it gets called. Second on Getty. Second team foul. Three but and a half to play in the quarter. You know what? It was the right call, and if it's the right call, make it throughout the ball game. Top of the circle, Forest Park will swing it. Again, they do a nice job of getting it around the perimeter. 
Ball knocked away by Yogi Farrell under Forest Park. Not seeing any ill effects of that, considering he's been on the bench for a minute and a half. No, and I think Nate Hawkins has just said, you know what, we're going to take as much time as we need at half court. Quick lob in to the big man. The kick out, the shot from 16. He was hacked on the shoulder. Yeah, he was. Clearly yeah, he hacked was. on the shoulder, which that's altered why, the shot. That's why he didn't get to the rim. Spin to the bucket, and that's a four-point swing. <laughs> J.B. Rapp with the nice move inside for five, and it's 33-32 Park Tudor. You can't bump a shooter. Ball doesn't get to the rim from 15 because he gets hit, and then J.B. Rapp on a great spin move to finish. I mean, the arm clearly draped over his shoulder. Right. In the post, the kick out. Top of the circle, swung right now. Approaching the two-and-a-half-minute mark. Brom is trying to load up top of the circle. Can't get the defense drawn to him. They'll swing it right. Three-pointer is a misfire. Rebound fought for, and they call a jump ball on the rebound. Trying to establish some advantage inside against this zone that Park Tudor's been running the entire game. They are different with Grant Wilp on the bench. They really no are. They really are because, you know, he's an energy-type guy, smart guy. High basketball IQ, as they like to say. But now, Coach, with a bucket here, they can take the lead by one, and there's oh, two yeah. minutes left on the clock, so they've done a great job no, with him on the bench. Absolutely, they have. And uh, we have a, a score in Gary Wallace, 22-11 uh, over Fort Wayne Elmhurst, Mark. The swing and the kick for Brom. This time, the three-pointer's no go. Ball fought for, tied up on the floor. Hauled back in by Thiesing. Thiesing dumps it inside. Shot thrown up a little short. Rebound controlled by Matt Getty. Farrell in transition, out of control, saves it back in bounds, and it'll go the other way. Importantly for Park Tudor, Farrell had 19 at the half, and he's yet to score in this third quarter. And the guy that held him in check most of the way has been on the bench over half of this quarter with three fouls. Yeah, I mean, you can continue to buy time. They've been, uh, they've been content, Four Sparks been content to perimeter pass, try to probe inside. Under a minute and a half. The kick back out. Meyer. They look baseline right. Mm. Saved back in bounds by Getty. Into the hands of Farrell. Yogi with about a minute to play behind the back dribble. Ed Schilling in his first year marking out directions from the sidelines. So Ed may use a little time himself. <laughs> you know, might as well. Wilgus Take getting ready time. to check back in for Forest Park. If he gets a chance, under a minute to play now. And what do we got? We got, all fit. We got a uh, holding for two in this half. 52 seconds left. One point lead for the Panthers. And Farrell has the basketball out high with the clock showing 45 seconds. Farrell wants to drive. Has to get rid of it. Kiker bump, no call. Gets it back to Farrell. He threads the needle in the corner. Wide open three. No, misfire by Tannenbaum. Weak side rebound controlled by Nathan Brom and expect Forest Park to play for the last shot here down by one. Absolutely. Clock down to 20. Brom with the ball on his hip. Hit a big three at the buzzer to tie it up going into the intermission. Clock down to 13. They should start soon. He could take Farrell one-on-one. -on -one. Got a decided advantage size-wise. They'll rotate, kick in the corner. Three put up a little short. Rebound control. Knocked away. Knock put it up down. at the buzzer. Yes. Set door. Colin Welp with a great defensive play. Jarred the ball loose and hit one right before the horn went off. So back-to-back -back buzzer beaters to end quarters for Forest Park. They lead by one, 34-33. Back with the fourth quarter after this on IHSAA Sports.org. 